I think my grandma's here with us. She's long deceased, but her name was Inga, and she was Norwegian. I'm bonafide Norwegian. My grandparents, does anybody know who Ma and Pa Cannell is? Yeah. That's my grandparents. It's a little harder, a little coarser. Uh, I used to go. <laughs> Go to their house. They, they grew up. I, I begged my mother for years and years to let me stay at my grandma Scotty's house. Well, they lived in a, on a farm and they really had a dirt floor, so they never let me go stay. Well, finally they moved to town and they were really dirt poor. Grandpa got a job um, uh, watching an apartment complex. Like, I don't, what do you call that? Maintenance. Maintenance. Something like that. So all of the, I mean, we had a big family on my dad's side. They, they, Grandma and Grandpa had 13 sons and daughters, and they had kids, and their kids had kids, so there's a lot of kids. But I got to stay at my grandparents' house one night, um, from my, my earliest memory. Grandma had this quilt that she made, or Afghan, I should say, and it was rectangular, and it was uh, purple, dark purple, and then it went to a light purple to a lighter purple to a white. And she would get all of her stuff at the Salvation Army. And I remember the day she got that uh, yarn. I, w I watched her crochet the whole afghan. And the night that I got to sleep over, I slept on the couch and I slept with that afghan. It smelled just like grandma. And oh, about two years later, um, I got to sleep over there like three whole times in my whole life and I just loved that afghan. So, and Grandma would always get our Christmas presents from Salvation Army because they really didn't have any money. Then one year, I opened up my present. Now, she had oodles and gobs and bunches of kids to buy for, or make, make things for. If it wasn't food, it was something she made from the Salvation Army. It might be a quilt, might be whatever. I opened my present up one year, and it was a vest that looked just like the Afghan that Grandma had made. And I said, Grandma, this looks just like what you what the Afghan looks like, and I looked at the couch, and the Afghan was gone. She had made three sweater vests for all of our cousins, and that shocked me up every time I tell it. <laughs> but I hope that each and every one of you have a memory like that that can hold you and warm you and just keep you snug as a bug in a rug, or have the, a real life something you can cling to, because with Christmas to me has gotten so materialistic. Um, they have Christmas stuff out before Halloween. So I hope you have at least a memory and and just cherish what you have and count each day as a blessing because that's what it really is. Merry Christmas.
Just like the ones I used to know Christmas Eve. 